Hey everybody, this is round one of Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. This is very exciting. This is uh this is the first the first round. I'll just go from left to right, I guess. So cultist, hunter. I don't I don't think there is an enforced initiative order, so I could probably go hunter first if I wanted to. I don't know, maybe I do want to. The hunter has uh, Arkham cards, and that's, I guess, okay. She has a bunch of relics, too, that she drew, just by chance. And the Occultist has three yellow cards. So, actually, it might be better for me to, de to declare that she goes first, the Hunter goes first. Uh, and I need a marker. I need a marker to, sh to, to represent who's gone, maybe. Uh, I guess I'll use my my... My turn die. So um, she'll go first because she'll draw cards from the player deck. And if she draws, for instance, two yellow cards would be great. Then she could trade those yellow cards with the occultist. And, and the, the, then the occultist could go close a gate. Our win condition is to close four gates. That's the win condition. There are a lot of other ways to lose. So the relics that I have uh, as the hunter is the Migo Eye. The next gate requires one fewer clue card to, cards to seal. Put this card next to the player discard pile and discard it when the next gate is sealed. Okay, well that could be great. That means I really only need one yellow card. And then we could seal a gate. You can swap one clue card from your hand with a clue card in another player's hand, regardless of where you are. Oh, that's brilliant. Those are, that's a great combo, because that means the hunter can give the occultist a yellow card from anywhere at any time. Relics can be played out of turn, so... That's pretty powerful, actually. That's a great starting combo. I think I'm just going to send her off to get rid of some cultists. So, she's going to start out here. Well, I mean, that's where she's starting. And I believe her special ability is that she can remove all cultists when doing the defeat a cultist action. And so... One of the actions is to defeat a cultist. Remove one cultist from your location. Well, she's a hunter, so instead of removing one cultist, she removes all cultists from a location. So that's two cultists in one action. That's one action. Now, I might send her down towards these other cultists to try to clear them out. I don't know how far she can get, though. She is at a bus station. There's a bus logo there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. There is, though. So she could, she could get here pretty quickly. But in order to do that, um, I think she needs to like discard a clue card or something. Take a bus. Discard a clue card at a bus station to move to any location in that town. Or anywhere if the card matches your current town. Okay, so in other words, if she discards an Arkham card, that matches her current town, and then she could move anywhere with the bus. That seems worth it, maybe, to me, to get her down here. Maybe. I'm going to check to make sure I did this summoning thing right. I think I did this wrong. I think the, sum the, the, the unused summoning cards are supposed to go back on the deck. And the reason I just thought of that is because... No, place all drawn summoning cards face up on the summoning discard pile. Okay. All right. The, the reason that would matter is because um, if these guys get an extra cultist added, then they summon an elder god. And that's one step closer to losing. But it sounds like that's not going to happen immediately. So she's done one action, which is get rid of two cultists. 
And she could discard an Arkham card to get all the way here. So that would be two actions, three, four actions. And then she'd be set up to get rid of them next. Or she could save her clue card and go one, uh, so one, two, three, four. And then she'd just be one away from them. I think I'm going to do that. One, two, three. And then four was the, uh, was the getting rid of the cultists. So she is further, she's very close to this little cluster of cultists, which is good. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Okay, so next up, she will draw two cards. I'm glad I saved that Arkham card, because now she's got three Arkham cards, which she needs five to close a location, uh, and, and a Kingsport uh, card. So let's just make sure. Closing, sealing a gate, discard five clues at the matching gate. Remove one cultist from each location. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so she does need five cards to seal a gate. She's got three Arkham cards now. She has a seven limit, seven card hand limit. She's only got six, so we're good there. I think we can pass the turn over to oh, the cultist. Now, the cultist's special action is that she can move one cultist up to two locations, and she can move... Wait a minute, I forgot something. It's not her turn yet. The third step in a turn is quite quite significant, and that is you have to draw summoning cards. How many summoning cards do you draw? Well, at the beginning of the game, where the, the, the first Elder God has not yet been revealed, it's there's a two written there. You probably can't see that on the camera. Once again, trust me, two. So that means we need to draw two summoning cards. Okay, cool. So there's no Shogoth logo at the bottom of the summoning cards, so I don't have to move the Shogoth any closer to the gate, which is another lose condition. But I do have to add a cultist to the diner and the junkyard. Diner, junkyard. Diner is here. Junkyard is somewhere in here. Here. Okay. That's not too bad. That's that's not the worst thing in the world. We can we can live with that right now. Now it's the occultist's turn. So as I said, she can move cultists around against their will, which is kind of a cool ability. But I don't know if it's something that we need to do right now. Unfortunately, I don't know what she does need to do. I, th I feel like she should probably start heading down to um, Dunwich because that's her sort of specialty right now, just because she happens to have three yellow cards. Yeah, I think that's going to be the thing that she does. So uh, Occultist is going to move one, two, three... Hmm. I feel like I'm wasting a turn. Because I am. And that doesn't seem like a smart thing to do right now, this early in the game. But I don't know what else to have her do. Oh, I guess, you know what she could do? She can move this Shogoth farther away from the gate. Move for two actions. She cannot do that. Okay. In that case, she can move a cultist uh, up to two locations. So I think just because there's a cluster of three cultists here, and that's dangerous, I'm going to move for one action. She's going to move one cultist over here to the wharf. Cultists don't travel uh, of their own volition, so... I don't need to really move them farther. I mean, I guess I could. I don't think it actually matters to have a cultist and a shogoth in the same location. Um, in fact, you know what? Having a having a cultist at a bus station is probably better than having them one square away from a bus station. So I think I will. I'll, I'll have her move that cultist two spaces over to the bus station at the market, hang out with the shogoth. I mean, honestly, that cultist would probably be devoured by this thing. But, I mean, it's probably going 
probably losing a lot of sanity for moving into a space with a Shogoth, so it's at least getting a little bit of misery that way. And that's the turn. That's four actions. Uh, so now the Occultist will draw two cards. That's exactly what I wanted. And a Relic. Wow. A worded box. No sanity required to play this card. Until the end of your next turn, players need not do sanity rolls. Place this card in front of you as a reminder. That's really good. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, four cards, and an Innsmouth and a worded box. Now, if you'll recall, the hunter has a relic that says that the next gate only requires well one fewer cards to cl to seal a gate which means that technically if we use this relic and her yellow cards that's enough to close that gate to seal the gate which means that on the next round she could seal that gate which would be great uh, a sealed gate on round two feels pretty good not as good as a sealed gate on round one, but still feels pretty good. All right, we're going to summon. Two summon cards, a wharf and a farmstead. Well, the wharf is exactly where that cultist was, so that was smart to spread that out, as it turns out, in retrospect. Because uh, you really just don't want them to cluster. That's that's the, the main thing. You get three of them in one place, and they start summoning elder gods. That's it. No Shogoths have moved. We've got a lot more cultists on the board. That's not good. But we've we've gotten a lot of cards. I, I feel cautiously optimistic right now about how this is going so far. It's going a lot better than my previous game, I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, great, cool. Next time, round two. Thanks for watching.